Hey riders, so I'm coming through to talk to you guys quickly about this solar eclipse that's happening on April 8th of this year. Um, this solar eclipse will be a total solar eclipse. Um, a total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, okay? Completely blocking the face of the sun. The sky will darken as if it were dawn or dusk. That's a total solar eclipse now the next one that you will see will be august of 2044 so we will not see another one of these eclipses for 20 years now i follow a couple of people um that say i get a 50 percent ratio on what kind of work they're going to be doing on this day i get 50 percent saying that <clears throat> they're not going to light any work and I get some people saying that they're going to light work, but they're going to stay in the house um, because of the darkness, you know. But all in all, you should always light a flame within total darkness. So I'm thinking about lighting. Um, it's still I'm still pondering on it, but let's talk about energy now. And some people are having a viewing party for the solar, solar eclipse. Now, I'm not going to be a part of that type of energy, but I'm all for this energy that's coming in on the 8th. And this is the first one. The last one was, um, I think it was August of 2017. That was the last time that we seen a total solar, solar eclipse. Okay? So, the next one now is 2024, and that was, what, seven years ago. Now, everyone will not be in the path of the total solar eclipse. It's all about the energy, y'all. So, in the past, within the energy, many people thought that um, a solar eclipse meant the world were, was ending. Okay. Some cultures also believed it was like a sign of a big disaster coming or the anger of the gods. And this idea was shared by different... Um, walks and made people very scared and worried whenever there was an eclipse okay so i don't know some people are afraid of it i get it and some people just want to hone in on the energy of it i get that as well listen they also say do not sleep during a total eclipse um sleeping during an eclipse period is considered um taboo so one must avoid sleeping as they might encounter bad dreams during the sleep and these are the dreams that can scare you okay so also let's say native american culture um they think that it is the end of a cycle and the power of when the moon and sun are in alignment um when the sun is blocked it is undergoing what we call a rebirth it is also seen as the moon and the sun embracing one another. So that's a good thing as well. It just depends on culture and the walk. And please, please do not look directly into or at a solar eclipse. You have to have like on a certain type of uh, eyewear in order to view it. Because if not, it could damage your retina in your eye socket, baby. So since we're talking about culture, um, I, I dive in and I look at everything, the meaning of it. So I found out that the Mayans considered the solar eclipse to be the most feared phenomena because they were related to some negative events. Okay. And I was like, mm, that's interesting. Very interesting concept. Um, some of the events were... What do I remember reading? They were feared events viewed and based on the Mayan um, Cosmovision um, as the struggle of the sun and the moon, um, meaning day and night or the good and the bad. So when that is what they it represented for the Mayans. But let's talk about the healing effects. Solar eclipse offer a time for a deep self-reflection healing and i would say a personal evolution for yourself with the alignment of the sun the moon and the earth this will symbolize a balance 
it will trigger introspection of your life and reveal hidden aspects of your self growth and your spiritual rejuvenation for yourself if you want to hone in on this energy i will wholeheartedly tell you start off with healing work if you are in a healing essence right now where you're healing or you're growing within spirituality I would say you want to do that type of work don't do any type of works as getting somebody back or um, focusing on job things what you need to focus on is healing your life healing yourself self rejuvenation um, balance spiritual growth this is the time for that all right I hope that helped y'all um, I'll let you guys know real soon if I'm going to be doing a ritual work. Possibly. I don't know. Depends on source. Y'all know I'm spirit led and universe fed. So that is what I'm waiting on. Y'all, I wish y'all could see. Hold on. Look at them trees, y'all. Look at it. The wind is blowing. It feels amazing outside. And I'm just going to sit out here and go over and record some videos that need to be uploaded to my media to my social media so guys have a wonderful wonderful day and i'll be back bye hope this helps